touching this one. And um, I'm not sure what the title of this video is going to be, but um, it's going to be about Powahata Indians, or so-called Indians, or Powahata Aborigines of, um, of Virginia. And I'm just going to be reading through a couple of um, different websites that I've got. This is the Historical Jamestown Organization. And um, this is pretty much, this is, this is a pretty good good article right here. So I'm going to try to read from two articles. Like I said, I've been having problems with my computer. Um, and just know this too. I cannot pronounce some of these words, um, some of the um, more the Indian words. So please bear with me, all right? So let's do this, all right? So um, as we know, you know, we know Power Hotten was the father of Pocahontas. And um, we know that James, um, Captain James Smith, he encountered and uh, he was actually captured by um, Power Hotten. Somehow he was able to negotiate his way out or whatever, though. But I'm going to read, I'm going to read it, all right? So just bear with me, all right? So I'm going to start from right here. All right, so I can't. Can't pronounce this word, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the truth. This look like a Hebrew word right here. Alright, so all my people who deal with Hebrew who see who while we watch this video, check and see this is a Hebrew word right here. I'm more than I'm more than a hundred percent that this gotta be like a Hebrew word. But let's get with it. Say commonly known it's commonly known as Chief Power Hotson. The Power Hotson people was the supreme ruler of the indigenous tribe of Chesapeake Bay region in 1607 at its height his realm known as uh, I can't pronounce that word either extended across 10,000 miles so 10,000 miles is, is pretty far um yeah 10,000 miles is pretty far y'all so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some I'm gonna check and see how far 10,000 miles from Virginia is but um yeah say from the banks of Jamestown River North to the Potomac River and from the Atlantic Ocean west, and say to the rolling hills of the Piedmont. The tribes in this region were linked by a common language, Eastern Algonquin. It's a young, hear that word again, it's a Herod ruler over six communities, but expanded his rule to more than 30 groups that included nearly 15,000 people. He was the Mama Natawak. The Mama Natawa. That's a deep word, y'all. All right? I'm going to be using that word. I like that. The Mama Natawa is the chiefs of chiefs. You see, but his power and authority varied from one part of, um, I can't pronounce I'm a, but I'm going to try to. Tetsanakamaka. And this look like another Hebrew name. Maka. When you look at the end right here, this look like something out of the Bible right here. Maka. Right here, all right, it say to another, it say people distant from his center to Warawakamaka. Warawakamako. 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 It say on the north banks of the York River. It say where most political independence. Then there, then those locations within the core territory, he ruled by the threat of force and say, but also by marriage alliances. They say and persuasion. The various tribes paid tribute to Powhatan. All right. So it's saying when marriage alliances, it's saying and persuasion. So basically, it's saying that he was like when people came there. So I know he had to take some of the European women. Or whatever, if he wanted any of them dirty women, because we know that them them women coming from Europe was filthy, you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, though, let's keep it going. I don't know why would he want them. He got his own beautiful um, women here. All right, so um, Captain James John Smith was a Jamestown leader with the most direct contact to Powhatan during the first year of the English settlement. But Powhatan never visited Jamestown archaeologists recently discovered the site of Wakamako and the footprints of a long house that may have been Powhatan resident. 1609, he ordered his warriors to lay siege to Fort to James Fort, which was the catalyst for the infamous starving time. So the infamous starving time is when I guess the winter was coming. He said, all right, so 
went winter that killed several hundred colonists. So they killed seven hundred colonists that came wild. I um and say this began the first Anglo um power hotten I mean again power hotten war which lasted until the sixteen fourteen marriage of one of power hotten daughters which is Pocahontas and say to English colonist James Wolfe. This marriage had the blessing of power hotten and led to a, re a relatively peaceful period in relation between two people. Power hotten died in April 1618. Now this is a fucking lie, man. You know, this is the reason why I don't like reading some of these from some of these sites. Because we know that they kidnapped um Pocahontas. And he made Pocahontas marry her. Now I heard stories the way they he said they, they that he killed Pocahontas. The Pocahontas didn't want to be his wife. Cause they took Pocahontas to England. Like you, you think she really wanted to leave her homeland to go to England with these with these dirty ass Europeans? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um I'm gonna move on to the next the next article or what I got. Um, and I'm gonna show you some images. So just bear with me, people. All right. All right. So this is another one I got. This is I got from the National Park Service. All right. And this is the last one I'm gonna read, and then I'm gonna just go into um, the other presentation of the vehicle. All right. So this is a, this is the National Park um, Service. All right. So I'm gonna read a little bit. Of this. It's saying Indians and Smith. It's saying two worlds collided when Captain John Smith met Powhatan. It's saying the other natives of the Chesapeake. It say history does not record. I mean, yeah, record what the Indians taught of the stranger, the strange. What what the what the Indians thought of the strangers from um, England. But Captain John Smith's stories provide insight into the first contact between English settlers and the American Indians during this time at Jamestown, and on his Chesapeake voyage, Captain John Smith and his men met. People from excuse me, many different Indian tribes. Most tribes welcomed the English newcomers, the, the English newcomers, and helped them on their journey. But a few tried to dive, I mean, drive, drive them away. This may have been because previous encounters with the Europeans found out more found out more about European encounters by clicking the following link and say English newcomers. I say, well, hold up, this must be something else right here. Sorry about that. This is something else. I don't know. This ain't this is related to this, but it's saying clicking the following link. I guess it's saying um why this is basically saying why the Indians probably had beef with the Europeans because we know what the Europeans are doing. Like I said that last article how um, you know how he mad how how I, they say he they took um Pocahontas. There was a war in which I think Power Hotten um may have got killed or whatever. But nonetheless, though, from the numerous stories I heard, like I have heard at least four or five different stories. I heard a story from Yaffa Bay, uh, how she was saying about Pocahontas or whatever. Though, but nonetheless, I'm gonna I'm a continue. All right. Um. So yeah, and you want to check that interview? I'll check out um Yaffa Bay. Yaffa Bay got some um some stuff on um Tyrone Street about um Pocahontas. So check that out. So powerful, power hot. To, they say of all encounters, Captain Ca Captain John Smith and the Indians of the Chesapeake, none was more important than his contact with power hot to, the paramount chief of many tribes in the vast area of Tensacomica. Com they say which his people called their part of Virginia after being captured by Powhatan in 1607. See Powhatan captured. They say Captain John, um, Captain Smith negotiated an alliance that helped the colony survive its first year. Um, however, its sub subsequently dealings with other tribes led to the collapse of the line. So I guess that because he was dealing with other tribes and shit, Powhatan wasn't feeling that. Or whatever it say, but the time Captain John Smith left Virginia, there was an open conflict between Power Hotton and, and the English. Now this saying that they pieced it up. They pieced it up by marrying po Pocahontas. But look, it's saying by the time he left there was an open and there was an open beef basically. You know what I'm saying? So conflict, what we consider beef, you know, between Power Hotton and the English. Alright, so early in early European contact. The English was not the first Europeans to visit the Chesapeake. 
the Spanish preceded them. Spanish vessels had likely sailed into the bay several times in, in the 1500s. A map by the Spanish explorer Diego Gutierrez and say was the first to record the Chesapeake Bay, although it was called the by the by Santa Maria and say the English were the first Europeans to come to Virginia with the mentions of sand, but the Indians would not have known that they may have thought they may have thought that the English the English would stop for a short time, but soon they discovered the real intentions. Yeah, that means they wanted the fucking they wanted the new land, basically. So John so John Smith um diplo diplomacy and say compared to the other um Europeans of the early sixteen hundreds, um Captain Smith seems to have been open minded toward the native people. He described them as growing as glowing terms of common comely and civil and say and referred to the chiefs as kings and emperors. Hmm. And say Smith learned the local language and was able to carry was able to carry on most of his negotiation without an interpreter. He must have been a persuasive persuasive I'm sorry persuasive speaker and a man of considerable charm and diplomacy. He, as he was it was frequently able to turn initial hostile into a warm welcome. It is likely that his positive attitude toward the native people, his talent for diplomacy and his practices of treating them as equal that led to the success in Jamestown on his voyage. The detailed observation of the Chesapeake and American Indians in Smith's journal and map provided a treasure trove of information rarely available for that period of time. Alright, so we're going to be concluding with this, people, and we're going to be going into the other part. So I say friends and enemies. In addition of dealing with Powahatan, Smith encountered many other tribes during his voyage. Many encounters were positive, the boldly de determined. De no, I'm saying they boldly demanded what we were and what we would. But after many circumstances, they seemed kind. So they saying how they was going to beef with them. And somehow they, you know, the Indians somehow chilled out with them or the Aborigines. All right. So look. So that's, you know, that's what I found. I also found some other information. But I'm going to go into some other things. All right. So look. This is what they telling you. This is what they telling you what power high look like. Bear with me, my, my computer went a little slow. I got a lot of things open on my computer. All right, so boom. So here we go. So this is what they saying power high look like. And also remember this too, right? Remember, um, Captain. I, we we don't know. We know that Captain James Smith, I mean John Smith, was um, killed when he went back to Europe, according to what they said, because he was practicing cannibalism, and also he was practicing cannibalism, and he also um, ate his wife or whatever. So we don't know if that led. We we you know once you get to the point of cannibalism, that's psychosis already been set in. So you're already going at that point in time. All right. So um, let me see. Let me just. Check a few images of what they say Power Hotton look like. So they saying that this is Power Hotton. Alright. This is Power Hotton right here. Alright. This is their images of what they say he looked like. Alright, so this is what they saying Power Hotton look like. Alright. So these are some other images in which they this is what they saying, alright? This is the Disney from one of the Disney movies. I guess that's Chief Power Hotson from the Disney movies, all right? Remember, just one of the images of what I thought Power Hotson. See, he got the chains around his neck. He got the so-called feather crown on, which we say to people in Europe, all right? So, boom. All right, so, you know, let me see. Let me click on this real quick and see what this is. <clears throat> So as you see right here, right, look. Now check this out, people. Look. In a lot of these situations, the cover-up is worse than the crime, all right? 
And I'm going to show y'all some real shit right here. And I want y'all to please bear with me, all right? Now, you see, they making, well, this is John Smith. We don't know if this power hot him. But I'm assuming that this is the East Coast. I'm assuming that he didn't go no, I, that he didn't go to the, the um West Coast because the West Coast would have been too fucking far. So I'm assuming that he he traveled all up and down the East Coast, right? All up and down the East Coast and all up and down the um East, I mean um Southeast and all in that area where where Virginia at all up and all up and down the North Coast, all right? I mean the East Coast, sorry. So this is the images of what they say the Indians look like, right? All right, so, you know, this is what they say the, the Indians look like, right? Let me see this. It's what they say the Indians look like. Boom. All right. So now, let's really deal with this shit. <clears throat> Spare with me, y'all. All right. So this is the image in which I got from one of the brothers that's on the um, Facebook group, right? He was at the Virginia Historical Society. And this is what people saying who was who, who really power hot and was. Now I'm gonna tell you like this, right? Now you got a lot of people who come on my page and say we are fucking hallucinating about um black people was the indigenous or the aborigines of this land. Let's let's just put it like this. The first contact of all the so called people that they found here was black people. And I'm putting it, and, I, and I'm, I'm a going, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna be more than 95 percent with that. I, I find it very rarely that they found any of this so-called Mongoloid Native Americans on the East Coast. I find that, I listen, I'm not going for. I only believe that they found the people in the South. Well, this is, this is when you start getting, um, um, John Forbes or whatever his name is. He started, he started going further out, like in the California regions or in like the South. More like the um the west, like the northwest. He started fine because them people came down from Siberia. So check this out. Let me just show you this this um this video was it's short. Alright. So this is remember this is at the Virginia Historical Society, alright? So this is what they say power hot to look like, right? Alright, so now look. I want y'all to see. Just take a look at what he got on. He got the grass skirt on. He got chains around his neck, two chains. Look, look. He got two chains around his neck. Check that out. Two chains around his neck. Now look. Check this out, y'all. Now look. Ah! Look at the back of his head. Now look. You see that? All right. So check that out. That's a Negro. Now, my thing is this, right? You know what? Hold on. Let me see something real quick. This is my thing. Let me see something. something. This is my thing. This is what they tell us the so-called Native Americans look like, right? These are the many different Native Americans, right? So... Why is this one this one better right here? Oh all right, so that's all right, so this is in the um the Virginia um historical society. Now look. As soon as you walk in, the first person you see is him, Power Hotson. Now look, my thing is this, right? You see, they go to the other images of him. Now look, look at how he's dressed. He got the two chains on. He got the leaf wrapped around his arm. He got the the crown, the, the um what we call the crown feather or whatever. I, we don't know what this is called because we know that the Native Americans don't wear this right now. The so-called Native American people do not wear this. We see other tribe of people wearing something similar to this, but I don't know, man. It's like, all right, so let me see. This is the so-called, let me see if I can find it. All right, this is where Virginia's at. You know what? I'm sorry. Let me, let me show y'all something else before I go into that.
so the chief of one of the tribes in Virginia. Uh, all right, this is the chief right here. His name is Chief Ken Adams. All right. So these are some pictures of the chief right here. Them some pictures of him right there, right? All right. So now, you know, most people, when they look, when we look at these Indians right here, we think these are the Indians, but this is the Virginia Historical Society. And this is what they saying the Indians look like. The Indians that they showing you right here is the fucking Indians. These Indians like this right here. These wasn't the Indians of the Virginias. These wasn't even the Indians. I don't even believe that some of these Indians was the Indians of, of the of the um east the east coast because I don't see no images of this. Right, so now look, alright. So Alright. So we got this image of Power Hot, right? We got this in the Virginia Virginia Historical Society. Um as I showed you, I showed you the other images of them, like the Disney images or whatever. They all trying to make them look like a Native American. Right? Now look, just bear with me on this. You see, we, we already know what he got on. We know he got the leaf around it on. Now look, we got numerous other other images. Let me see. Now look, we got numerous other images. Like this one right here. We see this? We see these people right here. These people wasn't slaves. These were the people in the tribes that was basically working. So what I'm thinking is this. When these people came here, they got some kind of a treaty with um, maybe Power Hotton to where maybe Power Hotton had his people working in the tobacco field, okay? I think after they killed Power Hotton is when they turned these people into slaves. This is what I think was happening. And, I, you know, I can't prove it. But I'm, 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 I'm more than certain that's what happened when they first came, when the Europeans first came to the Americas. They already seen these people already um, producing the tobacco. When I say a tobacco plantation, this is in Virginia. That's why Philip Morris is in, in Virginia. I mean, I'm sorry, in Virginia, the, cig the cigarette um, manufacturer. It's in Virginia because the, all the cigarettes, the cigarette leaves was i guess i guess you can find cigarette leaves in other regions of america i'm not showing that do not quote me on that but i know that they are they are they are um a lot of um tobacco fields in virginia so all right so we got that we got these images right here of virginia this don't look like the Indians that they showing you. These brothers got short haircuts. Let me see. Now look, they got the same thing on, similar to what Power Hawkin got on. And remember, they remember what Captain James, um, John Smith said. He said that the other Europeans that came here had problems with the Indians. Or whatever and look this is what they probably did to them this is how they was killing the Indians I mean how the Indians was dealing with the Europeans when they came here so now we got this image right here right so now when you look you look he got similar stuff on to what power hot and got on they got the leaf on. But I'm looking at this brother right here down at the bottom. He got the same pat thing around his arm like Power Hotton. Um, I don't know if he got any chains on, but more than likely he do or whatever. But he got the grass skirt on. So, you got some more images similar. These look more like Negroes too. This is the map. This is, it's a New York City plan map of 1760. So this is in New York. So the, pe the the tribes in New York looked similar to the tribes in Virginia as well. So that's why I'm saying most of the East Coast tribes looked at like this. Let me see. Let me get some more images up there. See? There you have it. Now, 
I got a, this image right here is very interesting, but we know that this probably is something from Virginia because look, he got the same crown feather on and he's smoking. Now we know that the tobacco, like I said, it was it was very prevalent. They took the tobacco back to Europe and started selling it over there. But you know, this is another interesting um um image or whatever with the crown with the crown feather on, similar to what Power Hotton had on. Now you see right here, right? These are black people, brother. These ain't no damn Indians, man. Why these Indians look different from the Indians that they show us in movies and the Indians that they keep um they keep on saying that's Indian. Why don't the Indians look like this? We don't see none of the Indians we see got nappy hair. Why don't none of the Indians we see got nappy hair? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's it's a lot of things we can speculate according to this. Like this right here, this image right here. This the Inca or whatever, but you see them look like tobacco leaves or whatever. You see he got he got tobacco leaves around his skirt. He got chains on and everything. He got the same hat power hot and hat on. So now, I mean look man, a lot of this stuff is like you can't really tie it back to nothing because of pretty much how they done hit history. But for the most part, I think we on the sun people. Because, like I said, why would they have him in American, um, the Virginia um, Historical Society, the first? What happened to the Indians that look like this? And, you know what I'm saying? This, these are the questions we got to ask ourselves, man. Because, listen, the thing about it is this. They didn't hear history so much to where we are comparing ourselves to these people. We comparing ourselves to these tribes of people right here. You know, when I first seen some of the brothers making the videos, or whatever we was um basically comparing ourselves to some of the Native Americans or whatever but we don't need them no more we don't need them no more because now we got images we got straight we got straight up images right hold on so we got straight up images of Indians in America with afros and with short haircuts you understand what I'm saying? These Indians ain't got no two braids in their hair. These Indians ain't got no straight hair. These are the first Indians that they found. And this is what I'm saying because, listen, think about it like this, right? Remember, 1619 is when they supposedly bought the first Jane Town slave. That's the fucking lie because they said that the war of, against Power Hotten lasted until 1614. So I think that they possibly killed, maybe killed Power Hotten. Or whatever, and then when they came back, they enslaved his people and took over the tobacco crops. This is what I think was hap what happened. Because why would they bring slaves? Did they said that they was warring? Why would they bring slaves to the fucking? Yo, it just doesn't make no sense, man. It just doesn't make no sense. And like I said, when I go back to these images right here, let me see. And this is another interesting image. Just just to take me off of, um just off off of my thought when I was thinking, but. It, just take a look at these. They got the same thing on that power hot to have. They got the same crown. They got the same crown. The same feather looking crown right here. The same grass skirt. And they are slaves now. You understand? Because when they came back, they probably realized that they after they killed power hot, and they probably realized that they could not. Um, the only way that they was going to deal with the people was by enslaving them because the people was going to try to rebel against them and probably possibly kill. Now, this is just my theory or what I think will happen. I'm not, don't quote me on that, but it makes a lot of sense that if they came back and they killed Power Hotten in 1614, like I said, the, the, the war lasted until 1614. They tell you that the first slaves came to Virginia in 1619. So that's something interesting right there. I believe that when the Europeans came back, they enslaved all the people. That's the reason why you see these images like this. That's why you see this right here. These are not slaves. These are people from the tribes that was already here. And when we see these images like this, we think these people were slaves. These people was not slaves because, like I said, if Power Hotten got an afro, and then we got other images of other Indians with short haircuts with afros, man. You understand? Like, look, man. Look, this the Virginias right here. This the Virginias. Look, it's saying in, 16, in 1667, the Virginia... 
General Assembly declared the enslavement of Indians for life to be legal. Now, why did they do that? Because they came and killed Powhatan. Powhatan did not like how the other Indians was dealing, I mean, how the, the um, so-called European colonists was dealing with the other European tribe. They didn't want to link up together like that, I guess. So, I guess that because John, the, the captain or whatever, kind of had, probably had alliance with the other Indian power hot and then wasn't feeling that shit. So, like, they, they started warring and then plus he said, like, when the winter came in, that these people were starving because they didn't know how to survive or whatever. But, yo, it's a lot of interesting stuff with this. Maybe somebody can do a, a better video on this or whatever or a more orchestrated video. You know what I'm saying? But look, I got images on this shit for days. I'm talking about this. I got a, listen, I got at least a thousand images of these pictures right here with these people right here. You understand? Now, these is Negroes. They making them look like somebody else. But where, where's these Indians at? What, why these Indians got short haircuts? Why don't they never show us no Indians in the movie with short haircuts? Why don't they never show you no Indians in the movie with this? And like I said, Like I said, this is that's somehow related to this because I like I said when they came back when 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 the English when the British or English or whoever whatever the fuck the Europeans came back to Virginia, I'm thinking that they took over the whole tribe. That was the whole plan. If they could not be in peace with them, they wanted to land anywhere, and they came back and took over the whole tribe. So look, man, look, this is probably not the best video dealing with with power hotting. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we got to some things. We got we got some things clear on it. But like I said, I'm gonna leave with this video right here, man. And and thanks to the brother that's in the Facebook group that went to the um Virginia Historical Society who shot this video. Thank you, man. Hopefully you see this video and you know who you are. But this is what he said when he went. That's a Negro. Now if it was people there like that look like look, you got two chains on, like I said. They got the same leaf on the shoulder. They got the same thing on all all these images that we see with all these so called Aborigine Indians all look the same in the East Coast. None of them look like the, the traditional Indians that we being sold. Now look, the man look, look, the man obviously got an afro or nappy hair. He obviously got an eye for a nappy hair. Now, we don't see no Indians like that. When they show you Indians, they always got straight hair. They always got two braids in their hair. But like I said, the Indians that they had, that must have been... Where that other picture at? Let me see. This one right here. Look, this is pretty much the same looking. He looks similar to Power Hot and he looks similar to the other. And, and he, they got short hair. So while the images that we see of the, the the Indians that's on the East Coast, they don't look nothing like the Indians that we see in the Southwest. They look nothing like these people, man. Let me see, is it this one? This one. Look, they don't look nothing like these people. Where the fuck these people came from? Because, uh, like, if, if we really was to really um, get Captain Jane, um, John Smith logged and really get the real information, they ain't going to have no description of these motherfuckers right here. These Mogamoy people who they stole our identity, obviously, because we the Aborigines and they are Native Americans. You know what I'm saying? So, look, man, like I said, man, somebody else, you can do some better research. Send me another link. Anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, we got these images is weird because they these are Indians, man, and they not they got afros in their hand. They look just like the slaves. And I, I touched on this shit in all my other videos. Like I said, man, look, 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 look at the Indians right here. That's that's she got dreadlocks in there. These is dreadlocks. If you look at the Indians down here, now them white slaves might have been. Listen, let me tell you something that's interesting about this. Them white slaves that you see right there might have been the captured. They might have captured them motherfuckers from the from the Europeans that came here. That's when I'm thinking that that could have happened too. That's just another theory that's in this picture right here that could have happened. They could have captured them other Europeans from other voyages or whatever, and they didn't kill them and they kept them as slaves around. So you know, like I said, they go other other images of how they was killing the Europeans. Or whatever, another images or with the same thing, the same, the same hair, wear the same dress, everything, man. They got more images. Like I said, man, look, we on the something, people. 
and just keep doing research. Do not say we are not mongoloids. We are not. Some of us might have mixed in with them. But the majority of the people here are us. Well, you got not eat the hair. We don't have no fucking Indian hair, bro. Indian hair is Negro hair. So, like I said, man, like I said, look, somebody else, you got some better information or something, or you can put it together or whatever. Send me some links. You send me some literature. I have been doing research on I had basically picked some of the better articles that was pertaining to, um, Power hot test. Some of the other ones was kind of, uh, it was kind of more fictional or whatever though. But like I said, you got any information on this? Any further information or any more of these other images like I showed you or what the people of the Virginias look like? You see, you got an Af clearly got an afro. This is the map of the Virginia or whatever. Like I said, man, we're on to something. Do not, do not, um, like, excuse me. Do not think that we are these mongoloids and do not think that them are the only images of the people here. We got straight up images of Negroes with Afros or Negro looking people that look like African Americans now that they found in this country. So with that being said, peace out to you guys. I'm out. I'm going to touch this one. Peace.